Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about one simple reason why most church marketing fails. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man. It's Brady Shearer. And today we're talking about about the one reason that church marketing fails. Yeah, one simple reason why so many church marketing endeavors will fail, perhaps no better give an example to than a recent Facebook ad that I saw from a church company. Yeah. So we're talking in this episode of Pro Church Daily about how most churches fail to market themselves externally and internally, but it was really brought to my attention in a very obvious way from a church company yeah. trying to market to churches. And it works in both directions. Basically, I'm scrolling through my Facebook feed and I see an ad from a church website company. They do other things, but they make church website builders for churches called Share Faith. And the part of the ad that stood out to me was the copy that read, it was the very first part of the copy. It read this. It said, get a website that will wow your pastor and your congregation. And I cannot be more unequivocally clear about this. You should not build a website to wow your pastor. You should not build a church website to wow your congregation. As an aside, here are three things that your church website should do, okay? Just to be clear, I don't want to just bash what it shouldn't do. Here's what it should do. Number one, it should make a great first impression. When someone lands on your website, they're only going to be there for 10 seconds or less on average. You've got a very short amount of time to prove to them you should stay and to make a great first impression. Once that first impression is made, positive or negative, it's going to take a ton of additional experiences with your brand to undo that. So if you make a great first impression, you're going to have to do a lot of bad to undo that. Right. On the flip side, inversely, if you make a bad first impression, you're going to have to do a lot to undo that as well. And you may not even get the opportunity. You likely will not. So the first thing that your church website should do, most important, is make a great first impression. The second thing that it should do is serve your congregation well. Of course. Not wow them. Serve them well. Meaning they should be able to give online. They should be able to sign up for events and ministries. And they should be able to find the information that they need and are looking for easily. They do not need to be wowed. They need to be served well. Finally, the third thing that your website should do is it should rank well in search engines. SEO optimized so that when someone is looking for a church in your local community, they land on you because I assume if you're watching Pro Church Daily, your church is great. Right. We've got amazing people in Pro Church Nation, amazing churches. Your website should rank well in SEO. Notably, on the list of those three things, excluded from the list, wowing your <laughs> pastor and or congregation. <laughs> now, I shared this on my Instagram story. Yeah. And I got a lot of responses, great DMs. And so I want to read a couple of them. I got a DM from Alex, not Alex Mills, the man with the camp, another Alex. And he said, he was recalling one of his comm professors in college and a quote that he or she shared said, you are not your target audience. Yeah. This is what is the one simple mistake that we see churches. And in this instance, even church marketing companies that should know better and should not prey on churches who think they need to wow their pastor We don't need to get into all of that. The one simple thing that we're making the mistake on is we're thinking that we are our target audience. Right. And to illustrate this point even further, I got another DM on Instagram. By the way, if you follow me on Instagram, at Brady Shearer, please get in touch. Oh, yeah. Slide into those DMs. Let's talk. Let's chat. I love interacting with Pro Church Nation. I think I've responded to every single DM of all time, basically. Yeah. You know, that's like a 98% response rate you'll get from me. (laughs) It's just the ones in Russian that that you don't respond to. Right, right. I have a wife already. Oh, I was going to say because you speak English. Oh, that's also it. Okay. (laughs) I got a DM from Adam. Adam said, people resist change in the church largely because they don't like the change. We've talked about this. Something's unfamiliar, thus it's uncomfortable, thus we hate it and resist it. He goes on to say, of course, he goes to all caps at this point. (laughs) Speaking to his church, Adam says, of course, in all caps, of course, you don't like my new ideas. You come here. (laughs) I'm doing new things for the people that do not come here. If someone in your congregation is resistant to a change, and this is talking about the internal marketing, this is one of the easiest ways to communicate to them. Be like, look, are you well served at this church? If not, make that change first. Assuming that they are, we want more people to experience the life-giving hope in Jesus and the community that you have found. 
Not everyone in our community is like you. And we want an eclectic, diverse group of people at mychurch.com, wherever your church is. You are not your target audience. And it's so difficult for us to see beyond this. It's difficult for us marketing products like Nucleus yeah. and Story Tape. Sometimes we think, especially in the early stages of these products, we're dealing with this with Story Tape right now. Like, what about Story Tape is great for churches? Like, is it the unlimited videos? Is it the templates? Is it, you know, the price? Like, what is it that best fits our users? Because we are not our target audience right. a lot of the time. This is what's been great about having Alex on staff. He works at the average size church in North America. He knows the struggles. He is an ordained pastor. He lives this every single day. He's still on staff at his church while being on staff at Pro Church Tools because he is a hero. (laughs) You are not your target audience. You have to do everything you can to look beyond where you are, all the insider knowledge you have, the insider language, the Christianese, the experience. Look, this is no better, given an example to than with a song on a Sunday. Look, we know you don't like Good Good Father. <laughs> I know, Oceans, let's stop. Yeah. Except for the fact that 90% of your congregation just learned the chorus right. last month. Yeah. The same is for everything. You've got to look beyond you because you are not your target audience. Yeah, I think I think step number two of what you said, that the three things that your church website should be, I think the second one um, is the most important thing you've said about this is that your church website, but out, but expand it past that your Facebook, everything you do online is for the purpose of serving your community. It's not for the purpose of wowing your community, but serving your community. And at the risk of sounding too spiritual, it's, it's, it's the ministry of Jesus. You know, Mm. it's the washing of the feet. It's that's, it's the breaking of the bread. It's what this is all about. It's that, that posture of we're here to serve you with this tool. This tool is made to serve you. Yes. Your church body. And then outside those walls, you're here to, you use these tools to serve the first time visitor as well, who will become a part of your church or the first time visitor who needs help and doesn't become a part of your church, but finds help because you were there to serve them, not to wow them, but to serve them. Yeah. That's great. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. Before we go, we wanted to tell you about storytape.com, our unlimited stock video site. We've got more than 6,500 clips on there as of now. We're adding more than 1,000 new clips every single month. 4K, ProRes, highest quality of format you can get. Yep. Shot with our cinema cameras. We want your church to have access to the quality of footage that you'd have to pay tens of thousands of dollars just to get the gear to shoot, yeah. much less the skills and understanding of how to shoot it, and then the time to go and travel the world, wake up early in the morning, stay up late at night to get that magic hour, the perfect yeah. lighting. You only get 35 minutes of it every single day yeah. because it's winter. Yeah. <laughs> We've done all that work for you. We want to give you all the footage. Yeah. Don't pay $200 for a single clip. I was on a stock video site. I think it was Adobe stock just yesterday. I was looking at this four-second time lapse. It was $199 US. That's crazy. I was like, <laughs> yeah. you can get 6,000 clips for yeah. that on storytape.com. Yeah. Storytape.com is the place to do that, of course. And for the month of January, we've got a very special offer. Only a couple more days to take advantage of this. We're giving you 10% off your subscription, storytape.com forever, as long as you remain subscribed. And perhaps even more exciting than that, we're giving away 25 proven video templates that we have custom crafted, created from scratch here at Storytape. And we want to give to you as your free bonus when you join storytape.com within the month of January, enter the coupon code daily so yep. we know that you're a watch yep. or a listener of Pro Church Daily and we'll give you those templates when you sign up and the 10% discount. Storytape.com is the place to do that. Thanks for watching Pro Church Daily. Thanks for listening to Pro Church Daily. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel for new videos like this one every single day. And if you like this video, it would mean the world to us if you give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.